boy, it seems like forever ago, but back in March of 2020, Farmville Central outlasted South Granville 66-63 in overtime to win the 2A regional final and advance to the state championship game. Sadly, the Jags never got to play in that state title game because just days after that victory over the Vikings, COVID-19 put a stop to the entire sports world. Thankfully, the Jags were later crowned co-state champs. However, it is already a new season, and tonight the Vikings had a chance to get revenge. There's the matchup everyone wanted to see. NC State commit Turquavion Smith versus Louisville commit Bobby Pettifer. Late first quarter, T. Smith, one-handed flush, advantage Jags. Moments later, it's Pettiford the other way. The future card in transition. Easy lay-in. Two of his team high 28 Vikings within five. Smith just getting started, though. Weaving and dishing. Pretty pass. Leonte Moy bringing down the house. 17 and 9 for Moy. Petrifying defense from Pettiford here, though. He says, I don't think so. But the Jags, they quickly get the ball right back, and the future Wolfpack decides to howl at the moon. Take no prisoners. Game by 33 for T-Baby as the Jags win it. 95-83. The Lady Jags also got the dub in the early game, 80-19. This time last week, the Pirates suffered just their second loss of the season on the road against Tulane. Joe Dooley and his Pirates dealing with COVID problems all week. So no Tristan Newton at point guard and Jaden Gardner had to come off the bench. More Robinson White career high 29 points in Newton's absence for the junior. But was it enough? This Brandon Suggs throw down puts the Pirates up five. But that's when ECU learns about what Brown can do for you. South Florida's Justin Brown delivering three straight triples and the Bulls never look back. 12 for Brown. Team high 16 for David Collins as the Pirates do get a double double from Gardner, but it's not enough. Bulls get the win 69 63. Elsewhere in college basketball, we had a pair of ACC games tip off in the triangle this afternoon. Coach K back on the bench after being in quarantine. And speaking of which, Wake unable to quarantine. Matthew Hurt step back J, two of his career high 26. Davian Williamson drive reverse. Woo wee. Wow, two of his 17, wake up one. Too much Duke down the stretch, though. DJ Stewart mixing in 21 points for the Blue Devils as Duke wins its third straight, 79-68. Meanwhile, DJ Funderburk going berserk at the rim. Big putback slam. He had 12 off the bench. Second half tied at 54, three minutes left. Isaiah Wong, tough layup, but he gets it to fall. Go ahead, bucket for the Canes. Game high 24 for Wong as the pack drops its second straight 64 59. Hi everyone, I am Tyler Feldman and this is your NFL Wild Card Saturday recap. For the first time in 25 years, the Bills hosted a postseason football game yesterday. How about that? Crazy. Second seeded Buffalo welcoming seventh seeded Indianapolis to Western New York. 6,800 Bills fans allowed inside Bills Stadium. Early fourth quarter, Bills up seven when Josh Allen drops back, looks deep and completes his second touchdown pass of the day. A 35-yard strike to Stephon Diggs. Give the Bills a 14-point lead. But back comes former Wolfpack star Phillip Rivers and the Colts. 27-yard touchdown pass to Jack O'Doyle rules. The Colts come back, fall short. Buffalo hangs on for its first playoff win in a quarter century, 27-24. Taylor Heineke got the start in place of Smith, and he does a great job. Late third quarter, Washington down eight. Heineke scrambles. And look at this, he dives head first into the pylon, eight yard touchdown, football team within two. Let's take another look. Heck of a play, but it's Tampa Bay who survives 